It was an ordinary evening in July 2014 when 14-year-old April Millsap took her dog for a walk along the Macomb Orchard Trail. She then saw a man riding a motorcycle near the trail accosting her. The curious April took her phone and texted her boyfriend, saying, I think I almost got kidnapped. But the boyfriend did not receive the text immediately. April went missing and several hours later, two joggers found her helpless body in a draining ditch. So what happened to April? In the quiet village of Armada, where familiarity painted every street corner, a chilling mystery unfurled on a warm summer evening in July 2014. It began with the last words anyone would ever receive from 14-year-old April Millsap, a haunting text to her boyfriend that sent shivers down spines. I think I almost got kidnapped, she typed, leaving a lingering sense of fear and curiosity. The community, nestled in the heart of Michigan, was unaccustomed to the specter of crime, with the last recorded murder dating back to 1973. Armada was a haven of safety, where people knew each other's names, and doors remained unlocked. However, that tranquil illusion shattered when April Millsap vanished while walking her dog, Penny, along a familiar jogging trail. As the sun dipped below the horizon, leaving the village bathed in shadows, April's mother, Jennifer Millsap, faced an escalating wave of worry. Jennifer, born with a neurological disorder affecting her speech and balance, could only express her fears through the texts that went unanswered. April's stepfather, David Lichtenfeld, found himself grappling with the inexplicable disappearance of a girl who had been like his own child. The unraveling of this enigma reached a chilling crescendo when a 911 call shattered the calm of Armada. 911? Yeah, this is, I'm fairly certain we just found a body along the uh, mountain bike trail. Yeah, I'm fairly certain we just found a body on the mountain bike trail, the caller reported, casting a veil of dread over the village. We just found a body along the uh, mountain bike trail. Is it a male or a female? Female. About how old do you think she is? I didn't get that close. Okay. Is she on the trail? No, she's off the trail, comes back in the woods, her clothes and all taken off. Enter Police Chief Howard Smith a guardian of Armada's safety, now thrust into a world of crime that felt alien to the close-knit community. A 14-year-old girl, a murder, and a community on edge, it was a story that gripped the hearts of everyone who had called Armada home. The investigation unfolded, revealing a series of ominous events leading up to April's disappearance. Her text messages became eerie clues, detailing a struggle that played out in the twilight hours. Witnesses came forward, and a digital trail left by April's fitness tracker told a story of bravery, fear, and an unspeakable act of violence. James Van Callis Jr., a name previously unfamiliar to Armada, emerged as the prime suspect. James answered the questions I asked. He told me that he was in Armada the night before on his motorcycle, that he had stopped at a gas station for a minute, but that he was on his way through Armada to go visit his brother at his brother's house. The trial that followed laid bare the horrifying details of April's final moments, strangled, assaulted, and left for dead. While DNA evidence was notably absent, a web of circumstantial evidence, witness testimonies, and Van Callis's suspicious actions led to a guilty verdict. Count one, first degree premeditated murder, find the defendant guilty. Count two, first degree felony murder, guilty. Count three, kidnapping. We find the defendant guilty. The courtroom drama provided a bittersweet closure for April's family and the grieving community. As Van Callis was sentenced to life in prison without parole, the village grappled with the scars of an unimaginable loss. Yet, amid the darkness, a memorial garden bloomed, a testament to April's vibrant spirit and the enduring resilience of a community that refused to let tragedy define its narrative. This is a picture of April. It just means a lot to me because she was one of my best friends, so just knowing that there is a place dedicated to her makes me really happy. The story of April Millsap, marked by the initial curiosity factor and the subsequent unraveling of a chilling mystery, transcends the bounds of a small village. It echoes the fragility of safety, the strength of community, and the indomitable spirit of a girl whose memory lives on in the flowers and shared grief of Armada.